Romayum, the letter written by Apostle Paul to the Romans. Paul, a servant of Yahushua HaMashiach, a called apostle, separated to the good news of Elohim, which he promised before through his prophets in the Kodesh Scriptures, concerning his Ben, who came of the seed of Dawid according to the flesh, who was designated Ben of Yahuwah with power according to the Ruach HaKodesh by the resurrection from the dead Yahushua HaMashiach the master of us through whom we have received favor and office of the apostle for belief, obedience among all the nations on behalf of his name among whom you also are the called ones of Yahushua HaMashiach to all who are in Rome beloved of Elohim called Kodoshim favor to you and shalom from Yahuwah our father and to add in Yahushua HaMashiach first I truly thank my Elohim through Yahushua HaMashiach for you all that your belief is spoken of in all the world for Yahuwah is my witness whom I serve with my Ruach in the good news of his bent how unceasingly I make mention of you always asking in my prayers if at all possible I shall be Barak by the will of Elohim to come to you for I long to see you so as to impart some spiritual gift to you for you to be established and that is to be encouraged together among you each by the other's belief both yours and mine and I do not want you to be unaware brethren that I often purpose to come to you but was hindered until now in order to have some fruits among you as also among the other Gentiles I am a debtor both to the Yahwanites and to foreigners, both to wise and to foolish. That is why I am so eager to bring the good news also to you who are in Rome. For I am not ashamed of the good news of Mashiach, for it is the power of Elohim for deliverance to everyone who believes, to the Yehudi first and also to the Yohanite. For in it the righteousness of Elohim is revealed from belief to belief, as it has been written. But the righteous shall live by belief. For the wrath of Elohim is revealed from the Shamayim against all wickedness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness because that which is known of Elohim is manifest among them for Elohim has manifested it to them. For since the creation of the world his invisibilities have been clearly seen being understood from what has been made both his everlasting power and mightiness for them to be without excuse because although they knew Elohim they did not esteem him as Elohim nor give thanks but became vain in their reasonings and their undiscerning hearts was darkened claiming to be wise they became fools and changed the esteem of the incorruptible Elohim into the likeness of an image of corruptible man and of birds and of four-footed beasts and of reptiles Therefore Elohim gave them up to uncleanness in the lusts of their hearts, to disrespect their bodies among themselves, who changed the truth of Elohim into the falsehood, and worshipped and served what was created rather than the Creator, who is Baruch forever, so be it. Because of this Elohim gave them over to degrading passions, for even their women exchanged natural relations for what is against nature, and likewise the men also having left natural relations with women, burned in their lust for one another, men with men committing indecency, and receiving back the reward which was due for their strength. And even as they did not think it worthwhile to possess the knowledge of Elohim, Elohim gave them over to a reprobate mind to do what is improper, having been filled with all unrighteousness, whoring, wickedness, greed, evil, filled with envy, murder, fighting, deceit, evil habits, whisperers, slanderers, haters of Elohim, insolent, proud, bolsters, devisers of evils, disobedient to parents, without discernment, covenant breakers, unloving, unforgiving, ruthless, who, through they know the righteousness of Elohim, that those who practice such deserve death, not only do the same, but also approve of those who practice them.
Therefore, O oh man, you are without excuse. Everyone who judges, for in which you judge another, you condemn yourself, since you who judge practice the same. And we know that the judgment of Elohim is according to truth against those who practice such. And do you think, O oh man, you who judge those practicing such, and doing the same, that you shall escape the judgment of Elohim? Or do you despise the riches of his kindness, intolerance, and patience, not knowing that the kindness of Elohim leads you to repentance? But according to your hardness and your unrepentant heart, you are treasuring up for yourselves wrath in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of Elohim, who shall render to each one according to his works. Everlasting life to those who by persistence in good works seek for esteem and respect and incorruptibility, but wrath and displeasure to those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, affliction, and distress on every human being working what is evil, of the Yehudi first and also of the Yamanites, but esteem, respect, and shalom to everyone working what is good, to the Yehudi first and also to the Yamanites. For there is no partiality with Elohim, for as many as sinned without Torah shall also perish without Torah, and as many as sinned in the Torah shall be judged by the Torah. For not the hearers of the Torah are righteous in the sight of Elohim, but the doers of the Torah shall be declared right. For when Gentiles, who do not have the Torah, by nature do what is in the Torah, although not having the Torah, they are a Torah to themselves who show the work of the Torah written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and between themselves their thoughts accusing, or even excusing. In the day when Yahuwah shall judge the secrets of men through Yahushua HaMashiach, according to my good news, see, you are called a Yehudi, and rest on the Torah, and make your boast in the Elohim, and know the desire, and to prove what is superior, being instructed out of the Torah, and are trusting that you yourself are a guide to the blind, a light to those who are in darkness, an instructor of foolish ones, a teacher of infants, having a form of knowledge and of the truth in the Torah. You, then, who teach another, do you not teach yourself? You who proclaim that a man should not steal, do you steal? You who say, do not commit adultery. Do you commit adultery? You who abominate idols, do you rob temples? You who make your boast in the Torah, through the transgression of the Torah, do you disrespect the Luahim? For the name of Yahuwah is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you, as it has been written. For the circumcision indeed profits if you practice the Torah, but if you are a transgressor of the Torah, your circumcision has become uncircumcision. So, if an uncircumcised one watches over the righteousnesses of the Torah, Shall not his uncircumcision be reckoned as circumcision? And the uncircumcised by nature, who perfects the Torah, shall judge you who notwithstanding letter and circumcision are a transgressor of the Torah. For he is not Yehudi who is outwardly, neither is circumcision that which is outward in the flesh. But a Yehudi is he who is inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart. In Ruach, not literally, whose praise is not from men, but from Elohim. What then is the advantage of the Yehudi, or what is the value of the circumcision? Much in every way, because firstly, indeed, they that were entrusted with the words of Yahuwah. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief nullify the trustworthiness of Elohim? Let it not be. But let Elohim be true, and every man a liar, as it has been written, that you should be declared right in your words, and prevail in your judging. But if our unrighteousness establishes the righteousness of Elohim, what shall we say? Is Elohim unrighteous who is afflicting wrath? I speak as a man, let it not be. Otherwise, how shall Elohim judge the world? For if the truth of Elohim has increased through my lie to his esteem, why am I also still judged as a sinner and not? Let us do evil so that the good might come. As we are wrongly accused and as some claim that we say, 
their judgment is in the right. What then? Are we better? Not at all. For we had previously accused both Yahudim and Yahwanites that they are all under sin. As it has been written, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is no one who is understanding. There is none who is seeking the Elohim. They have all turned aside. They have together become worthless. There is none who does good. No, not one. Their throats is an open tomb. With their tongues they have deceived. The poison of adders is under their lips, whose mouth is filled with cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Ruin and wretchedness are in their ways, and the way of peace they have not known. There is no reverence of the Lord in before their eyes. And we know that whatever the Torah says, it says to those who are in the Torah, so that every mouth might be stopped, and all the world come under judgment before Elohim. Therefore by works of Torah no flesh shall be declared right before him, for by Torah is the knowledge of sin. But now, apart from the Torah, a righteousness of Elohim has been revealed, being witnessed by the Torah and the prophets. And the righteousness of Elohim is through belief in Yahushua HaMashiach to all and on all who believe. For there is no difference. For all have sinned and fall short of the esteem of Elohim, being declared right without pain, by his favor through the redemption which is in Mashiach Yahushua, whom Elohim put forth as an atonement through belief in his blood, to demonstrate his righteousness, because in his tolerance Elohim had passed over the sins that had taken place before, to demonstrate at the present time his righteousness, that he is righteous and declares righteous the one who has belief in Yahushua. Where then is the boasting? It is shut out. By what Torah? Of works? No, but by the Torah of belief. For we reckon that a man is declared right by belief without works of Torah. Or is he the Elohim of the Yahudim only, and not also the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Since it is one Elohim who shall declare right, the circumcised by belief, and the uncircumcised through belief. Do we then nullify the Torah through the belief? Let it not be. On the contrary, we establish the Torah. What, then, shall we say Abraham my father, to have found according to the flesh? For if Abraham was declared right by works, he was boasted, but not before Elohim. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed Yahuwah, and it was reckoned to him for righteousness, and to him who was working. The reward is not reckoned as a favor, but as a debt. And to him who is not working, but believes on him who is declaring right the wicked, his belief is reckoned for righteousness. Even as Dawid also says of the Baraka, of the man to whom Elohim reckons righteousness without works. Baruch are those whose lawlessnesses are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Baruch is the man to whom Yahuwah shall by no means reckon sin. Is this Baraka then upon the circumcised or also upon the uncircumcised? But we affirm, belief was reckoned unto Abraham for righteousness. How then was it reckoned, being in circumcision or in uncircumcision? Not in circumcision, but in uncircumcision. And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the belief in uncircumcision, for him to be a father of all those believing through uncircumcision, for righteousness to be reckoned to them also. And the father of circumcision to those who not only are of the circumcision, but who also walk in the steps of the belief which our father Abraham had in uncircumcision. For the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the Torah, but through a righteousness of belief. But if those who are of the Torah are heirs, belief has been made useless, and the promise has been nullified. For the Torah works out wrath, but where there is no Torah there is no transgression. 
on account of this it is of belief that it be according to favor for the promise to be made certain to all the seed not only to those who are of the torah but also to those who are of the belief of abraham who is father of us all as it has been written i have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him whom he believed even Elohim, and who gives life to the dead and calls that which does not exist as existing who against expectation believed in expectation so that he shall become father of many nations according to what was said so shall your seed be and not having grown weak in belief he did not consider his own body already dead being about a hundred years old in the deadness of Sarah's womb he did not hesitate about the promise of Elohim through unbelief but was strengthened in belief giving esteem to Elohim and being completely persuaded that what he had promised he was also able to do therefore also it was reckoned to him for righteousness and not because of him alone was it written that it was reckoned to him but also because of us to whom it shall be reckoned to us who believe in him who raised up Yahusha our Adam from the dead who was delivered up because of our trespasses and was raised for us to be declared right therefore having been declared right by belief we have peace with Elohim through our master Yahusha HaMashiach through whom also we have access by belief into this favor in which we stand and we exalt in the expectation of the esteem of Elohim and not only this but we exalt in tribulations also knowing that tribulation works patience and patience experience and experience hope and hope does not disappoint because the love of Elohim has been poured out into our hearts by the Ruach HaKodesh which was given to us but when we were still weak Mashiach in due time died for the wicked but one shall hardly die for a righteous one though possibly for a good one someone would even have the courage to die but Yahuwah approves his own love for us and that while we were still sinners Mashiach died for us much more then having now been declared right by his blood we shall be saved from wrath through him for if being enemies we were restored to favor with Yahuwah through the death of his bent much more having been restored to favor we shall be saved by his life and not only this but we also exalt in Yahuwah through our master Yahusha HaMashiach through whom we have now received the restoration of favor for this reason even as through one man's sin enter into the world and death through sin and thus death spread to all men because all sinned but until the Torah sin was in the world but sin is not reckoned when there is no Torah but death reigned from Adam until Moshe even over those who had not sinned according to the likeness of the transgression of Adam who is a type of him who was to come but the favorable gift is not like the trespass for if by the one man's trespass many died much more the favor of Yahuwah and the gift in favor of the one man Yahusha HaMashiach overflow to many and the favorable gift is not as by one having sinned for indeed the judgment was of one's in condemnation but the favorable gift is of many trespasses unto righteousness for if by the trespass of the one death reigned through the one much more those who receive the overflowing favor and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life through the one Yahusha HaMashiach so then as through one trespass there resulted condemnation to all men so also through one righteous act there resulted righteous dealing of life to all men but as through the disobedience of one man many were made sinners so also through the obedience of the one many shall be made righteous and the Torah came in beside so that the trespass would increase but where sin increased favor increased still more so that as sin reigned in death even so favor might even reign through righteousness to everlasting life through Yahusha HaMashiach our master
what then shall we say? Shall we continue with sin to let favor increase? Let it not be. How shall we who died to sin still live in it? Or do you not know that as many of us as were immersed into Mashiach Yahushua were immersed into his death? We were therefore buried with him through immersion into death. That as Mashiach was raised from the dead by the esteem of the Father, so also we should walk in newness of life. For if we have come to be grown together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also of the resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man was impaled with him, so that the body of sin might be rendered powerless to serve sin no longer. For he who has died has been made right from sin. And if we died with Mashiach, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Mashiach, having been raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer rules over him. For in that he died, he died to sin once for all. But in that he lives, he lives to allure him. So you also reckon yourselves to be dead indeed to sin, but alive to allure him. In Mashiach, Yahushua, are at it. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body to obey it in its desires. Neither present your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin, but present yourself to Elohim as being alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness to Elohim. For sin shall not rule over you, for you are not under the law, but under favor. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under law, but under favor? Let it not be. Do you not know that to whom you present yourselves servants for obedience, you are servants of the one whom you obey, whether of sin to death or of obedience to righteousness? But thanks to Elohim that you were servants of sin, yet you obeyed from the heart that form of teaching to which you were entrusted. And having been let free from sin, you became servants of righteousness. I speak as a man because of the weakness of your flesh. For even as you present to your members as servants of uncleanness and of lawlessness resulting in lawlessness, so now present your members as servants of righteousness resulting in Kodashah. But when you were servants of sin, you were free from righteousness. What fruit, therefore, were you having then, over which you are now ashamed? For the end thereof is death. But now, having been let free from sin, and having become servants of Elohim, you have your fruit resulting in Kodashah, and the end, everlasting life. But the wages of sin is death, but the favorable gift of Elohim is everlasting life in Mashiach Yahushua, our master. Or do you not know, brethren? For I speak to those knowing the Torah, that the Torah rules over a man as long as he lives, for the married woman has been bound by Torah to the living husband. But if the husband dies, she is released from the Torah of her husband. So then, while her husband lives, she shall be called an adulteress if she become another man's. But if her husband dies, she is free from that Torah, so that she is not an adulteress, having become another man's. So my brother, you also were put to death to the Torah through the body of Mashiach, for you to become another's, the one who was raised from the dead, that we shall bear fruits to Elohim. But when we were in the flesh, the passions of sins, through the Torah, were working in our members to bear fruit to death. But now we have been released from the Torah, having died to what we were held by, so that we should serve in newness of Ruach, and not in oldness of letter. What then shall we say? Is the Torah sin? Let it not be. However, I did not sin except through the Torah. For also the covetousness I knew not if the Torah had not said, You shall not covet. But sin, having taken the occasion through the command, worked in me all covetousness. For apart from Torah, sin is dead. And I was alive apart from the Torah once. But when the command came, the sin revived, and I died. And the command which was to result in life, this I found to result in death. For sin, having taken the occasion, through the command, deceived me, and killed through it. So that the Torah truly is Kodesh, and the command Kodesh, 
and righteous and good. Therefore, has that which is good become death to me? Let it not be. But the sin, that sin might be manifest, was working death in me through what is good, so that sin through the command might become an exceedingly great sinner. For we know that the Torah is spiritual, but I am fleshly, sold under sin. But what I work, I know not. For what I want, that I do not practice. But what I hate, that I do. But if I do what I do not want, I agree with the Torah that it is good. And now, it is no longer I that work it, but the sin dwelling in me. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh dwells no good for to want is present with me but to work the good I do not find for the good that I want to do I do not do but the evil I do not want to do this I practice and if I do that which I do not want it is no longer I who work it but the sin dwelling in me I find therefore this law that when I want to do the good that the evil is present with me for I delight in the Torah of Yahuwah, according to the inward man. But I see another law in my members, battling against the Torah of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. Wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? Thanks to Yahuwah, through Yahusha HaMashiach, our master. So then, with the mind I myself truly serve the Torah of Yahuwah, but with the flesh, the law of sin. There is then now no condemnation to those who are in Mashiach Yahusha, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Ruach. For the Torah of the Ruach of the life in HaMashiach Yahusha has freed me from the law of sin and of death. For the Torah being powerless, and that it was weak through the flesh, Yahuwah, having his own been in the lightness of flesh of sin, and concerning sin, condemned sin in the flesh so that the righteousness of the Torah shall be completed in us who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Ruach. For those who live according to the flesh put their minds on that of the flesh, but those according to the Ruach, that of the Ruach. For the mind of the flesh is death, but the mind of the Ruach is life and peace. Because the mind of the flesh is enmity towards the Luahim, for it does not subject itself to the Torah of Yahuwah, neither indeed is it able. And those who are in the flesh are unable to please allure him. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Ruach. If indeed the Ruach of allure him dwells in you, and if anyone does not have the Ruach of Hamashiach, this one is not his. And if Hamashiach is in you, the body is truly dead on account of sin, but the Ruach is life on account of righteousness. And if the Ruach of him who raised Yahushua from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Hamashiach from the dead shall also give life to your mortal bodies through his Ruach dwelling in you. So then, brethren, we are not debtors to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you are going to die. But if by the Ruach you put to death the deeds of the body, you shall live. For as many as are led by the Ruach of Elohim, these are sons of Elohim. For you did not receive the Ruach of bondage against the fear, but you received the Ruach of adoption as sons by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Ruach himself bears witness with our Ruach that we are children of Elohim. And if children, also heirs, truly heirs of Elohim, and co-heirs with Hamashiach, if indeed we suffer with him, in order that we also be exalted together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the esteem that is to be revealed in us. For the intense longing of the creation eagerly awaits for the revealing of the sons of Elohim. 
for the creation was subjected to futility, not from choice, but because of him who subjected it in anticipation, that the creation itself also shall be delivered from the bondage to corruption into the esteemed freedom of the children of Elohim. But we know that all the creation groans together and suffers the pains of childbirth together until now. And not only so, but even we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Ruach, we ourselves also groan within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption as sons, the redemption of our body. For in this expectation we were saved, but expectation that is seen is not expectation. But when anyone sees, does he expect it? And if we expect what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with endurance. And in the same way, the Ruach helps in our weaknesses, but we do not know what we should pray. But the Ruach himself pleads our case for us with groanings unutterable. And he who searches the hearts knows what the mind of the Ruach is, because he makes intercession for the Kodoshim according to Elohim. And we know that all works together for good to those who love Elohim to those who are called according to his purpose because those whom he knew beforehand he also ordained beforehand to be conformed to the likeness of his bent that he become the firstborn among many brethren and whom he ordained beforehand these he also called and whom he called these he also declared right and whom he declared right these he also esteemed what then shall we say to this if Elohim is for us who is against us? Truly, he who did not spare his own bent, who delivered him up on behalf of us all, how shall he not, along with him, freely give us all else? Who shall bring any charge against Elohim's chosen ones? It is Elohim who is declaring right. Who is he who is condemning? It is Hamashiach who died, and furthermore is also raised up. Who is also at the right hand of Yahuwah? who also makes intercession for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Hamashiach? Shall pressure, or distress, or persecution, or scarcity of food, or nakedness, or danger, or sword, as it has been written. For your sake we are killed all day long, we are reckoned as sheep of slaughter. But in all this, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor malachim, nor principalities, nor powers, neither the present, nor the future, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahuwah, which is in Mashiach Yahusha, our Master. I speak the truth in Mashiach. I do not lie, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Ruach HaKodesh, that I have great sadness and continual grief in my heart, for I myself could have wanted to be banished from Shiak for the sake of my brethren, my relatives according to the flesh, who are Yashralites, who is the adoption, and the esteem, and the covenants, and the giving of the Torah, and the worship, and the promises, whose are the fathers, and from whom is HaMashiach according to the flesh, who is over all, Baruch of Yahuwah forever, so be it. However, it is not as though the word of Yahuwah has failed, for they are not all Yasharal who are of Yasharal. Neither are they all children, because they are the seed of Abraham, but in Yeshah your seed shall be called. That is, those who are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of Elohim. But the children of the promise are reckoned as the seed. But this is the word of promise. At this time, I shall come and Sarah shall have a son. And not only so, but Rebekah having conceived by one, our father Yishak, yet, before they were born or had done any good or evil, in order that the purpose of Elohim, according to choice, might stand, not of works, but of him who calls, it was said to her, The greater shall serve the lesser. As it has been written, Yaakov I have loved, but Esau I have hated. What then shall we say? Is there unrighteousness with Elohim, 
let it not be. But he says to Moshe, I shall favor whomever I favor, and I shall have compassion on whomever I have compassion. So then, it is not of him who is wanting, nor of him who is running, but of Elohim who shows favor. For the scripture says to Pharaoh, For this same purpose I have raised you up to show my power in you, and that my name be declared in all the earth. So then, he favors whom he wants, and he hardens whom he wants. Then you shall say to me, Why does he still find fault? For who has resisted his counsel? But who are you, old man, to talk back to a lower hand? Shall that which is formed say to him who formed it? Why have you made me like this? Does not the potter have authority over the clay? From the same lump to make one vessel for value and another not for value. And if Elohim desiring to show wrath and to make his power known, with much patience tolerated the vessels of wrath, prepared for destruction, and that he might make known the riches of his esteem on vessels of compassion, which he had prepared beforehand for esteem, even whom he called, not only us of the Yahudim, but also of the Gentiles, as he says also in Husha, I shall call them my people, who were not my people, and her beloved, who was not beloved. And it shall be in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people. There they shall be called sons of the living Elohim. It's just Yah who cries out on behalf of Yasharal. Though the number of the children of Yasharal be as the sand of the sea, the remnant shall be saved. For he is bringing a matter to an end and is cutting it short in righteousness, because Yahuwah shall cut short a matter on the earth. And as Yeshayahu said before, if Yahuwah Sebao had not left us a seed, we would have been like settled, and we would have been made like a mortal. What shall we say then, that Gentiles not following after righteousness have obtained righteousness, even the righteousness of belief? But Yasharal following after the Torah of righteousness, has not arrived at the Torah of righteousness. Why? Not because of belief, but as by works of Torah, for they stumble at the stone of stumbling, as it has been written. See, I lay in Sion a stone of stumbling, and a rock that makes for falling, and everyone who is believing on him shall not be put to shame. Truly, brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Elohim for Yasharal is for deliverance. For I bear them witness that they have a zeal for Elohim, but not according to knowledge. For not knowing the righteousness of Elohim and seeking to establish their own righteousness, they did not subject themselves to the righteousness of Elohim. For Mashiach is the goal of the Torah, unto righteousness to everyone who believes. For Moshe writes about the righteousness which is of the Torah. The man who does these shall live by them. But the righteousness of belief speaks in this way. Do not say in your heart, Who shall ascend into the Shamayim? That is, to bring Mashiach down. Or, Who shall descend into the abyss? That is, to bring Mashiach up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth, and in your heart. That is, the word of belief which we are proclaiming. That if you confess with your mouth the master Yahushua and believe in your heart that Yahuwah has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and one confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. Because the scripture says, Whoever puts his trust in him shall not be put to shame. Because there is no distinction between Yehudi and Yohanite. For the same adding of all is rich to all those calling upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without one proclaiming? 
And how shall they proclaim it if they are not sent? As it has been written, how pleasant are the feet of those who bring the good news of peace, who bring the good news of the good. However, not all obeyed the good news, for Yeshayahu says, Yahuwah, who has believed our report? So then belief comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahuwah. But I ask, did they not hear? Yes, indeed. Their voice went out to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. But I ask, did Yasharal not know? For Moshe says, I shall provoke you to jealousy by those who are not a nation. I shall enrage you by an unwise nation. And Yeshayahu boldly says, I was found by those not seeking me. I was made manifest to those not asking for me. And to Yasharal, he says, all day long I have stretched out my hands to a disobedient and bad talking people. I say then, has the Lord him rejected his people? Let it not be. For I also am a Yashraelite, of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. The Lord him has not rejected his people, whom he knew beforehand. Or do you not know what the scripture says of Eliyahu, how he pleased with Yahuwah against Yasharal, saying, Yahuwah, they have killed your prophets and overthrown your altars, and I alone am left, and they seek my life? But what does the answer of Yahuwah say to him? I have left for myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to bar all. So therefore also, at this present time, a remnant according to the choice of favor has come to be. And then by favor, it is no longer of works. Otherwise, favor is no longer favor. And if it is of works, it is no longer favor. Otherwise, work is no longer work. What then? Yasharal has not obtained what it seeks, but the chosen obtained it, and the rest were hardened. As it has been written, Yahuwah has given them a ruach a deep sleep eyes not to see and ears not to hear on to this day. Dawid also says that the table become for a snare and for a trap and for a stumbling block and a recompense to them that their eyes be darkened not to see and bow down their back always. I say then have they stumbled that they shall fall let it not be but by their fall deliverance has come to the Gentiles to provoke them to jealousy. And if their fall is riches for the world, and their failure riches for the Gentiles, how much more their completeness? For I speak to you, the Gentiles, inasmuch as I am an apostle to the Gentiles, I esteem my service. If somehow I might provoke to jealousy my own flesh, and save some of them, but if they're casting away to the restoration, to favor of the world, what is their acceptance but life from the dead? Now, if the first fruit is Kodesh, the lump is also. And if the root is Kodesh, so are the branches. And if some of the branches were broken off, and you, being a wild olive tree, have been grafted in among them, and come to share the roots and fatness of the olive tree, do not boast against the branches. And if you boast, you do not bear the roots, but the root, you. You shall say then, the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Good. By unbelief they were broken off, and you stand by belief. Do not be arrogant, but revered. For if Elohim did not spare the natural branches, he might not spare you either. See then the kindness and sharpness of Elohim on those who fail sharpness, but towards you kindness. If you continue in kindness, otherwise you also shall be cut off. And they also, if they do not continue in unbelief, shall be grafted in. For Elohim is able to graft them in again. For if you were cut out of the olive tree which is wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature into a good olive tree, how much more shall these who are the natural be grafted into their own olive tree? For I do not want you to be ignorant of this secret, brethren, that you should be wise in your own estimation. That hardening in part has come over Yasharal, until the completeness of the Gentiles has come in. And so all Yasharal shall be saved, as it has been written. The deliverer shall come out of Sion, 
and he shall turn away wickedness from Yahweh. And this is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. Truly, regarding the good news, enemies for your sake, but concerning the choice, but love for the sake of the fathers, for the gifts and the calling of Elohim are not to be repented of. For as you also at one time disobeyed Elohim, but now have obtained compassion through their disobedience, so also these have now disobeyed, that through the compassion shown you they also might obtain compassion. For Elohim has shut them all up to disobedience, in order to have compassion on all. Oh, the depth of riches, and wisdom, and knowledge of Elohim! How unsearchable his judgments, and untraceable his ways! For who has known the mind of Yahuwah, or who has become his counselor? For who first gave to him, and it shall be given back to him? Because of him, and through him, and to him, are all, to whom be esteemed forever, so be it. Call upon you, therefore, brethren, through the compassion of Elohim, to present your bodies a living sacrifice, Kodesh, well pleasing to Elohim, your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you prove what is that good and well pleasing and perfect will of Elohim. But I say, through the favor which has been given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think more highly than he should think, but to think soberly, as the Lord him has given to each a measure of belief. For as we have many members in one body, but all members do not have the same function, so we, the many, are one body in Mashiach, and members each one of another, now having different gifts, according to the favor which was given to us, if prophesying, according to the proportion of belief if serving in the serving, or he who is teaching in the teaching, or he who encourages in the encouragement, or he who is sharing in sincerity, he who is leading in diligence, he who shows compassion joyously. Let love be without hypocrisy, shrink from what is wicked, cling to what is good. In brotherly love, tenderly loving towards one another, in appreciation, giving preference to each other, not idle in duty, zealous in Ruach, serving the master, rejoicing in the expectancy, enduring under pressure, continuing steadfastly in prayer, imparting to the needs of the Kodoshim, pursuing kindness towards strangers, barat those who persecute you, barak, and do not curse, rejoice with those who rejoice, and weep with those who weep, be of the same mind toward one another, do not be proud in mind, but go along with the lowly. Do not be wise in your own estimation. Repay no one evil for evil. Respect what is right in the sight of all men. If possible, on your part, be at peace with all men. Beloved, do not revenge yourselves, but give place to the wrath. But it has been written, Vengeance is mine, I shall repay. Says Yahuwah, Instead, if your enemy hungers, feed him. If he thirsts, give him a drink. For in so doing, you shall he coals of fire on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Let every soul be in subjection to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from Elohim, and the authorities that exist are appointed by Elohim. So he who opposes the authority withstands the institution of all, and those who withstand shall bring judgment on themselves. For those ruling are an object of fear, not to good works, but to evil. Do you want to be not afraid of the authority? Do the good 
and you shall have praise from it. For it is a servant of Elohim to you for good. But if you do evil, be afraid, for it does not bear the sword in vain. For it is a servant of Elohim, a revenger to execute wrath on him who practices evil. Therefore, it is necessary to be subject, not only because of wrath, but also because of the conscience. For because of this, you also pay taxes, for they are servants of all, attending continually to these duties. Render therefore to all what is due to them, tax to whom tax, toll to whom toll, fear to whom fear, respect to whom respect. Owe no one anything except to love one another. For he who loves another has fulfilled the Torah. For this, you shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not covet. And if there is any other command is summed up in this word, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to a neighbor. Therefore, Love is completion of the Torah, and this, knowing the time, that it is already the hour for us to wake up from sleep. For now our deliverance is nearer than when we did believe. The night is far advanced, the day has come near. So let us put off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk becomingly, as in the day, not in wild parties and drunkenness, not in living together and indecencies. Not in fighting and envy, but put on the master Yahushua HaMashiach and make no provision for the lusts of the flesh. And receive him who is weak in the belief, not criticizing thoughts. One indeed believes to eat all, but he who is weak eats only vegetables. He that eats, let him not despise him who does not eat. And he that does not eat, let him not judge him who eats. For Elohim received him. Who are you that judges another servant? To his own master he stands or falls, but he shall be made to stand. For Elohim is able to make him stand. One indeed judges one day above another. Another judges every day. Let each one be completely persuaded in his own mind. He who minds the day, minds it to Yahuwah. And he who does not mind the day, to Yahuwah, he does not mind it. He who eats, eats to Yahuwah, for he gives Elohim thanks. And he who does not eat, to Yahuwah, he does not eat. And gives Elohim thanks, for not one of us lives to himself, and not one dies to himself. For both, if we live, we live unto the Master. And if we die, we die unto the Master. Therefore, whether we live or die, we are the masters. For unto this, Mashiach died and rose and lives again, to rule over both the dead and the living. But why do you judge your brother? Or why do you despise your brother? But we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Mashiach. For it has been written, As I live, says Yahuwah, Every knee shall bow to me. And every tongue shall confess to a Lord him. Each one of us, therefore, shall give account of himself to a Lord him. Therefore, let us not judge one another any longer, but rather judge this, not to put an obstacle or a stumbling block in our brother's way. I know and am persuaded in the ad in Yahushua that nothing is common of itself, but to him who regards whatever to be common, to him it is common. And if your brother is greed because of your food, you are no longer walking in love. Do not by your food ruin the one for whom Mashiach died. Do not then allow your good to be spoken of as evil. For the kingdom of Elohim is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Ruach HaKodesh. For he who is serving Mashiach in these is well pleasing to all and approved by men. So. Then let us pursue that of Shalom and that for building up one another. Do not destroy the work of Elohim for the sake of food. All indeed are clean, but evil to that man who eats so as to cause stumbling. 
It is good not to eat meats or drink wine, nor that by which your brother stumbles. Do you have belief? Have it to yourself before Elohim. Baruch is he who does not condemn himself in what he approves. But he who doubts, if he eats, is condemned, because it is not a belief. And all that is not a belief is sin. But we who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Let each one of us please his neighbor for his good, to build him up. For even Hamashiach did not please himself, but, as it has been written, the reproaches of those who reproach you fell upon me. For whatever was written before was written for our instruction, that through endurance and encouragement of the scriptures, we might have the expectation and the Elohim of endurance and encouragement give you to be of the same mind toward one another according to Mashiach Yahushua that with one mind and one mouth you might praise the Elohim and father of our added Yahushua HaMashiach so accept one another as Mashiach also accepted us to the esteem of Elohim and I say that Yahushua HaMashiach has become a servant of the circumcised for the truth of Elohim to confirm the promises made to the fathers and for the Gentiles to praise Elohim for his compassion as it has been written. Because of this, I shall confess to you among the Gentiles and I shall sing to your name. And again it says, Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise you, all you Gentiles. Praise him, all you peoples. And again, Yeshayahu says, There shall be a root of Yeshayah, and he shall raise the rain over the Gentiles. On him the Gentiles shall put their expectation. And the Elohim of expectation fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you overflow with expectation by the power of the Ruach HaKodesh. Now I myself am persuaded concerning you, my brethren, that you too are filled with goodness, complete in all knowledge, able also to admonish one another. But I have written more boldly to you, in part, as reminding you, because of the favor given to me by Elohim, to be a servant of Yahushua HaMashiach to the Gentiles, with the priesthood duty of bringing the good news of Elohim, so that the offering of the Gentiles becomes acceptable, kadosh, by the Ruach HaKodesh. Therefore I have cause for boasting in Mashiach Yahushua and that pertaining to Elohim. But I shall not presume to speak of anything except what Mashiach has worked out through me, in word and deed, to make the Gentiles obedient, in power of signs and wonders, in power of the Ruach of Elohim, so that from Jerusalem and round about Elirakum, I have completed the preaching of the good news of Mashiach. And so, I was ambitious to bring the good news where Mashiach had not been named, lest I should build on another man's foundation, but it has been written, To whom it was not announced concerning him, they shall see, and those that have not heard shall understand. This is why I was often hindered from coming to you, but now, no longer having a place in these parts, and having a longing to come to you for many years. I shall come to you when I go to Spain, for I expect to see you on my journey, and to be helped on my way there by you. At first I be somewhat filled with your company, but now I am going to Jerusalem to serve the Kodoshim, for it pleased those from Macedonia and Achaia to make some contribution for the poor among the Kodoshim who are in Jerusalem. For they were pleased, and they are their debtors. But if the Gentiles have shared in their spiritual matters, their duty is also to serve them in material matters. Having completed this, then, and having put my seal on the fruit of theirs, I shall return through you to Spain. And I know that when I come to you, I shall come in the completeness of the Baraka of the good news of Mashiach. But I urge you, brethren, through our master Yahushua HaMashiach, and through the love of the Ruach, 
to strive together with me in prayers for me unto Elohim, that I might be delivered from those in Yehuda who do not believe, and that my service for Jerusalem be well received by the Kodoshim, that I might come to you with joy through the desire of Elohim, and be refreshed together with you. And the Elohim must alone be with you all, so be it. And I commend to you Phoebe, our sister, who is a servant of the assembly of King Crea, that you receive her in Yahuwah, worthy of the Kodoshim, and assist her in whatever matter she has need of you, for she has been a great help to many, including me. Greet Priscilla and Achilles, my fellow workers in Mashiach Yahushua, who risked their own necks for my life, to whom not only I get thanks, but also all the assemblies of the Gentiles, and the assembly that is in their house. Greet my beloved Epinados, who is the first fruits of Achaia to Mashiach. Greet Miriam, who worked very hard for us. Salute Andronicus and Eunius, my relatives and my fellow prisoners, who are eminent among the apostles, who also were in Mashiach before me. Greet Amplius, my beloved in Yahuwah, greets Urbanus, our fellow working in Mashiach, and Stachys, my beloved. Salute Apelles, the approved in Mashiach. Greet those who are of Aristobulus. Greet Herodian, my relative. Greet those who are of Narcissus, who are in Yahuwah. Greet Trufana and Trufosa, who work in Yahuwah. Greet the beloved Persis, who worked very hard in Yahuwah. Greet Rufus, chosen in Yahuwah, and his mother and mine. Greet Azacritos, Phlegon, Hermes, Patrobus, Hermes, and the brothers who are with them. Greet Philologus, and Yulia, Nereus, and his sister, and Olympus, and all the Kodashim who are with them. Greet one another with a Kodesh kiss. The assemblies of Mashiach greet you. Now I call upon you, brethren. Watch out for those who cause divisions and stumbling, contrary to the teaching which you learned, and turn away from them. For such one do not serve our master Yahushua HaMashiach, but their own stomach. And by smooth words and flattery speech, they deceive the hearts of the innocent. Your obedience, indeed, is reported to all, therefore I rejoice concerning you. But I want you to be wise indeed as to the good, and simple toward the evil. And the Elohim us alone shall crush Satan under your feet shortly. The favor of our master Yahushua HaMashiach be with you, so be it. Timotheus, my fellow worker, and Lucios, and Jason, and Sosipatros, my relatives, salute you. I, Tertius, who wrote this letter, greet you in Yahuwah. Gaios, the host of all the assembly and me, salute you. Erastos, the treasurer of the city, salute you. And Cardus, a brother, the favor of our adding Yahuwah HaMashiach be with you all, so be it. And to him who is able to establish you according to my good news, in the preaching of Yahushua HaMashiach, according to the revelation of the secret which was kept silent since times of old, but now has been made manifest, and by scripture of the prophets has been made known to all nations, according to the command of the everlasting Elohim, for belief, obedience, to Yahuwah, wise alone, be the esteem, through Yahushua HaMashiach forever. So be it. <laughs>